Hello everybody, welcome back to another Dren608 Plays. We're playing Pathfinder Kingmaker. Um, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, if you really like what you see, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notify button. You'll be notified when I upload uh, new videos. Um, trying to get my uh, stuff aligned there. Um, the end of the last episode saw us go off and get fang berries for uh, Boken, and uh, just about got ourselves uh, killed by a bunch of spiders. Um, so we're going to head off here, back downstairs. We've talked with everybody. Um, episode 4.5 was a whole lot of talking. Um, that's why I made it 4.5. It didn't seem like I should really consider it a real adventure. Uh, but I have talked with all my people. Um, I suppose we can go to Oleg and see what he's got. We've got a little bit of money. Uh, I think I have everybody with... Let's do this by price in descending order. We'll <coughs> double check. Need a lot of money to get uh, that bag of holding, which would let us carry an extra hundred pounds. Um, there's this nice ring of protection. Uh, I don't see anything. Lots of masterwork. Uh, There's a master word long sort that I could take. But I really don't see anything that we really need right now. Maybe get a master work heavy mace at some point. Or a heavy flail. Depends on what we do. Alright, um I don't think we have a lot left to sell. Let's just do this. Uh price in descending order. I want to keep that around. That's like that 14 charges of cure light moderate wounds. So that sounds like a good idea. Uh, restoration potions. Cure moderate wounds. Pocket mirror. We're going to need a mirror. Some roots. Coal. I don't know if I'm going to need any of this. I can't remember. Uh, I know a lot of this is like edible stuff that if we ever get some, we don't have any recipes. No. Got a scroll of cure moderate. Oh, this we could sell. Moderate lizard scales, eight gold. So let's get rid of that. Um, I can't imagine us using coal for anything. Onions, that's food, 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 food. Pocket mirror? Eh, I don't think we'll need that. Going to keep the rope, no matter what. Got alchemist fire, which came in handy against the spiders, so I'm going to keep a few of those around. Um, uh, it's only worth two gold. I guess we'll get rid of the roots and uh, the coal. So, I mean, it's not much money, but it's a little, what is this? Potion of Vanish. Check is required, invisible creature gets plus 20 bonus on stealth. Spell ends if it attacks any creature. It lasts for one round per level, and it's a level one. So, I, one round, it's not really worth it, and it's worth 12 gold. We'll go ahead and sell that. Um, <clears throat> not with other enhancement bonuses. Um... I don't think I need a bark skin. Probably going to regret it, but I'm going to go ahead and sell that too. 
So that gives us an extra 100. We've got 1300. We don't really have the money to go buying a bunch of stuff here. Um, there's no like masterwork longbow, is there? I don't see a masterwork longbow or anything like that, which is what I would need. I think I could get a masterwork uh, crossbow for Lindsay. All right, let's deal this. Let's sail that. Uh, we'll get out of here. And uh, should we check out Vulcan? And is there anything we need to get him... have uh, type let's do it by price well, I don't need that remove curse remove blindness remove blindness restoration helps a little bit cure moderates he doesn't have a potion of like <laughs> prevent poison does he uh, um, a large person Oh, yeah, that's right. We get things uh, at a discount for him. Um, I really don't see... What have we got? We've got eight cure lights, and I think all my people have some on them. Because we're really short. We don't really have a cleric to heal us. We've got Lindsay that can cast some cure lights. She's got a pretty good... Uh, Ability to go ahead and uh, use magic items, so she can probably use the scrolls and things that we've got. So I really don't see a lot here. Uh, maybe we buy a... What do you think? Let's buy two of those. Yeah, let's take a couple enlarged persons and see how those do. All right, so we're going to deal with that. Wait, click on. Nope, nope, I got to hit the X button. There we go. All right, so we're going to leave. Um, if you look at uh, Lindsay's journal, uh, we've done the fang berries. This we have to go find with the bandits. In the stolen lands, we're supposed to go... So we have a place to go find the bandits, and we also have to go deal with... I think I want to go deal with Tartuccio, because right, I really don't like him. Here by Tomb for Artifact. Let's go see what we see if we can go get that artifact. Alright, so out we go. Um, you can hit the M key to get to a map and just run off here. Let's you travel a little bit faster. Time-wise, uh, speaking of which, time-wise, I should start my little timer here because I'm trying to keep these close to 30 minutes as much as possible. Uh, so let's go out here. Uh, we don't need to collect the books. Is there anything we need to get rid of? Uh, anything weighing us down that we really don't need? Uh, we're going to need our rations. Now, I don't think we have anything that we really need to get rid of. Oh, no, we'll just leave. Yeah, we're going to take everybody. We don't have that many bodies to take. First world is akin to a first draft for the gods. Creation testing allows and formulas. Okay. Um, what's this? That's the Endless Plains. We don't have any tasks to go to the Endless Plains. Where's this tomb? So we've got a tomb here. So I guess we head south. Uh, well, this road here, but it doesn't look like that road goes anywhere. This is all fog down here. That must be what that is. This is like all fog, so we can't get anywhere. Uh, so what's this? This is the, that's the bandit camp there, and tomb here, so the tomb's kind of on our way to the bandit camp, maybe. 
So let's uh, head to here. Takes four hours to get there. Uh, I think we'll go this way first. Let's go south, because we're trying to get to that. Yeah, that's like a resource or something. Uh, let's head, keep going heading towards the tomb, maybe. Okay, this probably will take us off to the bandit camp, but I think I want to do the tomb first. I want to find out what Tertuccio's up to. I haven't been keeping track of how long that was. I think we're okay. I don't think we need to rest yet. <clears throat> so let's go see what this is. Okay, we're in a tomb. Hey, <laughs> no walking in the cave like at the spiders. It's just like, hey, you're in the tomb. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, let's check I and make sure I have my bow and I have a bless. And I want to have... Okay, when you click on that, when it's got that little circle around it, it means I'll use that all the time. So, see, he's there. He gives me a plus one to my s saving throws. Uh, and Lindsay was called forth. has... Yeah, I did get her masterwork like crossbow, so she's a little better to hit. Um, let's put that out of the way. She doesn't have many spells, but she's got some. Um, Amiri. She's got her big old See. sword. I gotta get her some different weapons, maybe. But right now she's using her dynamic sword and I'm listening. Have her starting off in defensive mode, and she just has Masterwork Bastard Sword, so she's a little better to hit. <coughs> so I guess we're equipped as best as we can be. Let's put everybody together and let's go uh oh look, stuff. There's stuff here. Okay, well, let's move up a little bit. Move up a little no bit more. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want to click on her. Move up a little bit more. Uh, oh, look. Stuff. Summon monster. Garnet ring. A spoon. Some gold. And a scroll for protection from ca chaos. For one person. I think that's going to be a saleable. Monster summoning might be cool. But let's just collect all that. Not, not a whole lot of weight. Uh, what is our weight, anyway? We're carrying around 304 pounds worth of stuff. Yeah, I probably need to get a Masterwork Longsword at some point. So I have a decent melee weapon. And or the mace or something. But um, So uh, I guess we move up a little bit more. Aha. Uh -huh. So there's Harim. What else is over here? Is there anybody else over here? What's this? Tartuccio's, what's that say? Tartuccio's mercenary. Tartuccio's mercenary. Let's move up a little bit more. So there's Harim and a couple mercenaries. I don't want to go too far before I can try and do something. I am yours to command. Uh, oh, there he is. A gnome in gaudy purple garb seizes, seizes your attention, of course. The scoundrel Tartuccio, who you knew from know from your time in rest stop. Vile gnome is standing on a small hill, expressing his discontentment in every way he can muster. That's a hill? It's like a floor to me. It's not a hill. Okay. Let me guess. You're still dawdling. <laughs> Should I make some tea in the meantime? Bake a pie, perhaps? Plant a small garden and harvest some cherries? Perhaps you'd be more comfortable wearing fool's caps and colored trousers. <laughs> then at least I'd be able to sell tickets. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes upon the slowest and the most ridiculous buffoons in Golorian. <laughs> okay. Why hurry? The same end awaits us all. That must be Jethail. Okay. Hold your tongue, gnome. I can hardly tell your twaddle from the buzzing of a fly. <laughs> Jethail doesn't sound happy with him. Quickly now, 
If we don't find that artifact soon, someone else might seize it. Someone who's standing over there watching you right now, you fools! <laughs> Okay, your faith does not oblige you to follow follow fools and liars. Hmm, so I'm gonna succeed. Who do I want? Huh, who do I want? Harim is a cleric, so I'd get some healing out of it. But Jathale was a heck of a fighter when I found her. Man! I don't want to make this choice. What do I do? What do I do? Oh. Looks like I can talk one of them into joining me. Maybe. Man, I don't know who to take here. Um, well, Lindsay's got Cure Lights. We've got some scrolls for cures for us. Oh, man. That's a tough choice. Oh, I really don't know. I like to fail because of her scythe and she was doing lots of damage. But the idea of having a cleric in the party, even if he is a doom and gloom cleric, sounds like a good idea too. Um, you know what? I'm just going to take the I'm going to take the fighter. I'm going to go with Jethale. Right? Best defense is a good offense. Let's talk to Jethale first. I succeeded to post check. Death looks at you for rebound and nods silently. She draws her weapon and eyes Tartuccio coldly. I see my magnificent rival will stop at nothing, even at stealing the servants of his enemy. Let us see if your fools are even more useless than mine. Draw your swords and cover my retreat. Okay, so where are we here? I'm going first. And it looks like I can get to do both things. So I think I'm going to try to do a blast. Oh, that takes up my attack. What am I dealing with? This is Jethael. Uh, Arim, are you on their side? He doesn't seem to be fighting at all. There's a mercenary there. Can't shoot Tartuccio. He's going to be the first mercenary to do anything, so he can't get to me. He's the second mercenary to do anything. We'll be after Val. So they're going to shoot a bow. I'm thinking I want to cast a Bless to make us all better in the future. But it means that I can't do much of anything at that point. Oh, uh, I think bless is the thing to do here. And then I'll just move. Where do I move? Back a bit. I'll just step back a bit. Now she can charge. Well, she can't charge there. Could she charge that guy? Can she charge? She can't charge there. She can't charge there. Not allowed to go after Tartuccio, so she can't even charge. Oh, that's annoying. And she can't move to attack him. He's going to get hit by a Miri. So she needs to be the one that ties the tank up here. Man, I really hate to risk Val like this, but she's going to go in defensive mode and just kind of move up. He swings at Jethael. Tartuccio's running away. They shot arrows at me. Alright, we're going to rage out. And go hit that guy. 17, wow. What are these guys? Oh, second level fighter, okay. 
What's this guy? Third level fighter. Oh dear. What's this guy? Uh, 17 hit points, second level. Oh, there's another archer out there. Dang, damn it. Didn't know there was another archer. Light crossbow plus two. Light crossbow plus two. What? What? Composite longbow plus four. Oh, that must be their attack. That's just what they're attacking with. They're not, that's not the weapon they have. Okay. Man, I was like, what? They all have magic weapons? But no, that's not what it is. Okay. Uh, well, that's all Amiri can do. Oh, he casts spells. What the hell is he? What the hell is he? Oh, he's a wizard. All right. Um, well, I think she's going to cast her uh, laughter thingy on this one. Because I don't like giant bowmen. That that scares me. And I'm going to shoot the wizard. Because, hey, A wizards. Do all of one point of damage. Yay! I did one point of damage. That was silly. Um, can she charge him? Can she charge the wizard? Can she charge the wizard? Why can't she charge the wizard? Well, then she'll go charge the brute. And miss. Oh, I forgot to take off her defensive fight. Stupid. Okay, Harim just left me. Alright, well, Amiri just rage out and miss. Then he hit her. Large Tim. So, Lindsay's going to, uh, let's hideous laughter this guy. Couldn't hideous laughter him? It's not gonna let me hideous laughter him. I move too far? Anything I move that far, so I can't do anything else. Well, that's annoying. Well, hex. I gotta shoot the wizard again. Hopefully I'll hit him this time. Forwards. Not doing a lot of damage to this guy. Got like 18 hit points. Alright, um, we're gonna take off the shield for the defensive fighting, so maybe we can actually hit this guy. Let us strike as one. Nah, six versus an eight. This can't be over. Amiri, please finish this guy off. Thank you. And then you can move, so move as far as you can. Thail is down. Uh, he just laughed at this guy. I've got to get rid of that wizard. Aim carefully. Man, I can't do any damage to him. All right, she's going to charge the wizard. So now if he casts, she gets to do an attack of opportunity. And then, can she charge that far? Yes, she can. Go beat that person up. Yeah, there we go. I see the attack rolls. Well, these are all checks to see if my information on them can be updated. Okay, I was trying to figure out what all those lore checks were. Um, she's down. I can't do anything for her. So she 
hit him, Mary, but we killed him. Okay. Um, let's just shoot the guy that's down. He's the last one. Attack! She'll go over and whack Do on him. Just to stand up. And then we'll get Amiri to charge again. And miss. <laughs> One versus a three. Come on. Uh, let's have Lindsay. Serves you right. Solid plan. Okay, did some damage. Bow. Onward. God. Come on, Mary, take him down. Not quite. Can Lindsay take him down? You deserved it. Nope. Can I take him down? Forwards. Nope. Good grief. Stay behind me. It's about time. Ooh, and Jethel goes up a level, too. Okay, that's cool. Um, so, ooh, some kind of longsword. Let's collect all that. Uh, let's have some, oh, jeez, I gotta turn this off. Uh, we need to have somebody go collect the wizard stuff. Uh, we need somebody to collect this bandit stuff. Just to collect all that. There's another guy over here. To collect all that. Whatever he's got. Maybe dropping some of this soon. What does this say? Ah, uh, the cracks in the stone turns out to be faded image of the sun, a grinning jackals. What that say? A grinning jackal skull has recently been scratched on top of the image. Okay. Almost completely worn away over the ages, one can still distinguish a sickle, a sword, and a skull with a single eye socket covered with a coin. Okay. Is there anything else here I need to check out? Oh, something here. Best relief once you pick the sun and moon, now it's almost completely eroded. One well, can discern the outline of a head with a single eye. Okay, get a lot of heads with single eyes. Anything else? Uh, nothing over here. Oh, something over here. Stuff. Grab stuff. So I think we go here. Uh, I think we're going to move you ahead of Lindsay. Uh, probably Good should point. have you heal yourself. Do I have anything that she can use? No, I don't. I don't. Oh, yeah, I do. No, that's Raven right, Feeble. Yes. There's a scroll of Cure Light Wounds. Now, Lindsay's gonna take a scroll, of, a couple of scrolls of Cure Light Wounds, I think, for now. To try and use on a Miri. Alright, so let's have her do this scroll on herself. Uh, yeah. So she's at full hit points. I'm going to have her use this on Amiri. We've got her up to full. Okay. So everybody's at full hit points now. 29, 30, 24. And Jethel just went up a level. So I guess let's go see what Jethel gets. Should get her leveled up before we go anywhere, right? So she's only a level one, so she's going to become a level two like us. Okay. Uh, like I said, I'm keeping everybody just in their initial classes and just taking them up from there. Uh, I don't know what this is. Wisdom modifier on initiative checks. And just in a, oh, initiative index. I mean, she'll probably be able to act first in a lot of cases. Uh, 
Oh, she gets five points, huh? Well, I think I want to have her be able to at least kind of use magic devices. Um, maybe just give her one and everything for right now, and then figure out how to specialize her later. Does that sound reasonable? Figure out how to specialize her when she gets her next level. She has everything but lore nature. So she's like plus one on all of pretty good pluses on everything. She's ahead of us, a lot of us. She's got, Lindsay's got the world. She's got the arcane, which is barely over her. Stealth, she's tied with me. Oh no, she doesn't have because she's got chainmail on. Okay. Uh, trickery. She's a six. Not that great. Mobility. Yes, again, this chainmail that's messing her up here. Chainmail's messing her up there. Her perception's up to a ten. She's got better perception than me. Okay. Okay, so she's got some stuff. All right, let's go on. Um, oh, she gets to pick up a spell. She has Inflict Light Wounds and Divine Favor. Um, ooh, let's take a Remove Fear. That'll help protect us against fear. All of our body, or all of our people from, gives us like a what, plus four. Plus four against fear effects, which we all have lousy will saves, so. Um, I don't see, I mean, there's True Strike, Decent Scream, Cure Lights, Bless, Bane. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the Remove Fear, just so that we have it in the party. She just got Cunning Initiative, so she gets extra pluses there. But yeah, she's, Not bad, she's got 22 hit points. Uh, what's her, I forgot what her, so she gets plus two for her dex and plus two for charisma. So she's plus four on initiative checks. Pretty good wisdom, pretty good strength. Khan doesn't count for her, I guess, because she's undead. All right, so we picked up Jethael. This should change the marching order there. We'll get Lindsay in the back there. This requires your attention. Okay. What's that? So we've got a couple things to go hunt for. Okay. So let's go over here. What's this? Ooh, that's a door. All right. Well, I have to go check that out. What's this thing? Uh, some kind of coin. Okay. Nothing else over here. It's an exit. Should we go see what's in this room? This is a death trap. Should I quick save in case it's a death trap? I'm gonna quick save. I'm gonna quick save just in case. <laughs> I'm walking into a room. I have a feeling it's gonna be a death trap. Uh, we walk. You see that? Oh, well, it's got traps in it. Okay. Uh, Lindsay. All of your great trap expertise. A buzz, please. Oh, uh, there's treasures in here. Uh, silver bell, inkwell, an artificial flower, and some gold. So we'll take that. Anything else? Oh, something up here. Long road, big outlines of four strange creatures have been carved all over it. Okay, so I don't see anything in here so we'll get out of here yes all right so we've kind of dealt with tartuccio we picked up another person i guess we leave get out of the tomb okay 
stretch prayer after stale damp stiffness of the tomb, before stretched stone healing health, replete with hills and gullies and patches of low shrubs. Already the trail of treacherous tombs tomb has gone cold. Nature 11. We could not give up so easily whether the trail went cold or not. It was one we had to follow. Well, I need a four to get through that. Oh, it's been, it must have been enough to straighten neck up since whoever has the room. Walked and walked until finally we came to a huge gully. Dried up bed of river of York. What is this? At the edge, the grass was trampled down and the soil turned up in claw prints. Lots of them. We stumbled upon a fresh battlefield. Here the trail split. One set of footprints walked away from the battle and down into the gully. The brave footprints that faced down the enemies followed the path along its edge. Well, and now I need a seven. Apparently from the Illusionist School of Magic, near where the Lonely Trail descended into the gully. So, Illusion went down in the gully. Uh, let's see if I can fill this up. Do I get a 7? I failed. Couldn't determine, uh, we could discern that there were plenty of attackers and they were rather small. Okay. Uh, carefully studied the trail that led down into the gully. footprints in the way the gully it was someone charged his man was wearing shoes and either took them off or grew claws and then jumped to the gully to avoid the battle the path was frequently used in its dust we saw both sets of footprints together it was clear that those who had had no claws left the battle surrounded by those that did Okay. Well, I have no idea which way to go. Looks like we have somebody that ran away. And somebody who did. So I'm not sure which one to follow here. Follow the gully? Boy, I really don't know. Bigger trail. So we can follow the people that ran away, or we can follow the big group that looks like it. Let's see, I'm good. What would I follow? It's supposed to be neutral good. We just picked up Jathale. I guess we chase this one. Way down with Steve, took some time as the bottom of the gully went downhill. Uh, we couldn't, but it, oh, stop. It's only a plus five. Oh boy, we need to roll a six or better because I still had on my. She has a better mobility than me? I thought I had on leather armor. What mobility was better than that? I'm only a three. Must be because of my armor. Oh yeah, we gotta use... I know Jathales is messed up because she has on her armor, but I didn't know I was going to walk into this book thing. I forgot about that. So, I guess we try Lindsay. Succeeded. Uh, push your feet against the slope. Only everything. Keeping with and Climbing out of the gully one by one, we easily found the cloud footprints again and moved forward. The Ergo tends we sensed that we were approaching our target and our intuition proved correct. We gained nine experience and we've closed in on somebody. Well, it's a good thing that I actually healed us all up, isn't it? Uh, but Lindsay doesn't have any spells anymore. Um, 
I'm going to put a cut in here because I'm at my 30, a little over my 30 minute mark. Um, so yeah, this is episode six. We've dealt with Tartucci on the tomb and now we're on the trail of something. So, um, yeah, we'll come back to this in the next episode, see where we're at and what we can do. And until next time, stay safe and bye-bye.